Welcome to 360 Ministries. Today I'm going to be reading from John 316. A lot of you already know this verse. We learned it in Bible school, church. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I titled this message, You Love Me Anyway. I've, it's a song um, by Sidewalk Prophets that I've heard before, but there's more to the song than, you know, if you really listen to it. And I got to writing, no matter what I've said, no matter what I've done, you love me anyway. No matter how I, how I rejected your love, no matter how I turned my back, no matter how many times I was disobedient, you love me anyway. God sent his only son to take our punishment, a death that should have been ours. But he loved us anyway. No matter what he, no matter what he sent his son to die for us, so we could be restored to him. In that we must turn back to him. We must give him our heart because he gave us his heart. He loved us anyway, no matter what we've done, no matter what we've been through, no matter where we what we've done, where we've been. You can turn back to him if you've never known him. Come to know him today. He loved you. He died on a cross. He stretched out his arms and he died. He loved you anyway. He took the punishment on himself so that we wouldn't have to. He freed us from sin. He freed us from hell. We don't have to go to hell. He done that for us. He took the keys back from Satan so we could have life and have it more abundantly. So we could live free. And I plan on doing that. That's why I gave him my heart. It's so I could live for him. So I could tell you that you can live for him no matter how far you think you are. No matter what you think you've done. You can call out his name and he will be there. He will not reject you. He loves you. He loved you anyway or he wouldn't have died on that cross. He would not have seen his son to die on that cross for you. Call out his name. Just call on the name of Jesus. Fall on your knees and call out the name of Jesus. You don't even have to fall on your knees. Just in a chair, in your car, wherever you are listening, watching, you can call out the name of Jesus and he is right there with arms open wide because he loved you anyway and it'll be worth it I'm not saying it'll be easy I'm not saying that you won't have trials and troubles and tribulation ever since I gave my heart to God I've had trials and tribulations almost four years ago today I lost my child to cancer but he loved me anyway he loved me enough that he gave me peace. He gave me comfort. When I went through trials and tribulations of abuse and being beaten by a man or mistreated, cheated, lied to, he was still there. He loved me anyway. No matter the choices I made, he loved me anyway. He loves you anyway. So I'm asking today, do you want a, a relationship with him? You can have it. It's easy. It's not hard. You don't have to get cleaned up before you come to him. You come as you are. That's what the enemy wants you to believe, that you have to be all cleaned up inside. You will have, he will tell you that you uh, went too far, that, you've, that you can't, what you've done, you can't be forgiven for, but you can. He will tell you that you have to be cleaned up inside, but you don't. You come as you are. And he accepts you as you are. So I'm asking today, if you don't know him, come to know him. Call on the name of Jesus and say, Lord, here I am. Jesus, here I am. I'm a sinner. And I want to be saved. So call at him today. He is there waiting. He has never left you. He's always been there for you. Because he loved you anyway. And I just... I hope and pray that someone hears this message and reaches out to God because I'm praying for you on this end. I'm praying for everybody that hears this message that they know that he loved you anyway. And I thank you for listening to this message because he does. He loves you anyway.